Hadith 1. Narrated Abdullah bin Mas'ud, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, recited Surah an Najm at Makkah and prostrated while reciting it, and those who were with him did the same, except an old man who took a handful of small stones or earth and lifted it to his forehead and said, This is sufficient for me. Later on, I saw him killed as a non believer. Hadith 2. Narrated Abu Huraira, on Fridays, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, used to recite Surah Sajda, in the first rakah, and Surah Dahar, in the second rakah, in the Fajr prayer. Hadith 3. Narrated Ibn Abbas, the prostration of Sa'ad is not a compulsory one, but I saw the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, prostrating while reciting it. Hadith 4. Narrated Abdullah bin Mas'ud, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, recited Surah an najm Surah 53, and prostrated while reciting it, and all the people prostrated, and a man amongst the people took a handful of stones or earth and raised it to his face and said, This is sufficient for me. Later on I saw him killed as a non-believer. Hadith 5 Narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, prostrated while reciting an najm and with him prostrated the Muslims, the pagans, the jinns, and all human beings. Hadith 6 Narrated Atta bin Yasar, I asked Zaid bin Thabit about prostration, on which he said that he had recited an najm before the Prophet, yet he, the Prophet, had not performed a prostration. Hadith 7 Narrated Zaid bin Thabit, I recited an najm before the Prophet, yet he did not perform a prostration. Hadith 8. Narrated Abu Salama, I saw Abu Huraira reciting Surah al Shikak, Surah 84, and he prostrated during its recitation. I asked Abu Huraira, didn't I see you prostrating? Abu Huraira said, had I not seen the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, prostrating, I would not have prostrated. Hadith 9. Narrated Ibn Umar, when the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, recited a surah that contained the prostration, he would prostrate, and we would do the same, and some of us, because of the heavy rush, could not find a place for prostration. Hadith 10 Narrated Ibn Umar, when the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, recited surah sajda and we were with him, he would prostrate, and we also would prostrate with him, and some of us, because of the heavy rush, would not find a place, for our foreheads, to prostrate on. Hadith 11 Narrated Rabia, Umar bin al-Khattab recited Surah an nahl on a Friday on the pulpit, and when he reached the verse of Sajda, he got down from the pulpit and prostrated, and the people also prostrated. The next Friday Umar bin al-Khattab recited the same Surah, and when he reached the verse of Sajda, he said, O people! When we recite the verses of Sajda, during the sermon, whoever prostrates does the right thing, yet it is no sin for the one who does not prostrate. And Umar did not prostrate, that day. Added Ibn Umar, Allah has not made the prostration of recitation compulsory, but if we wish we can do it. Hadith 12 Narrated Abu Rafi, I offered the Isha a prayer behind Abu Huraira, and he recited Surah al Shikak. Surah 84, and prostrated. I said, What is this? Abu Huraira said, I prostrated behind Abu Qasim, and I will do the same till I meet him. Hadith 13 Narrated Ibn Umar, whenever the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, recited the surah which contained the prostration of recitation, he used to prostrate, and then we too would prostrate, and some of us did not find a place for prostration.